This might be the sneaker of the year. In this box right here, we got one of the most heavily anticipated sneaker releases of the year. The Nike SB Dunk Low, born and raised. First thing you notice when you open up, nothing too special. It gets straight to the point. Got standard tissue paper, nothing too crazy. And then you get into this beauty of a, of a sneaker. So once you first open up the box, the first thing you notice is this huge holographic looking swoosh. It's gonna have hints of blue, pink, white, silver. It's 3D, it pops out. It's definitely an eye catcher, one of my personal favorite parts of the shoe. As we move on to the toe box, it's gonna have this message one block at a time. And his whole brand, Born and Raised, is basically his message of obviously being born and raised in Venice and LA, protecting his city, protecting his communities of gentrification, and not getting pushed out of his own city. As we move up into the toe box, we're gonna notice this bandana looking design definitely a key key point of the sneaker and as we move on to the side it's gonna have that same design on the lace holes right here more towards the the ankle side of the shoe as we move along the side obviously the whole shoe is made up of high quality materials that's bar none it's not an understatement full grain textured leather and the blue paneling is suede and nubuck definitely like 10 out of 10 materials, I am not capping on that. As we move on to the tongue, the label on the tongue is gonna have their Born SB logo, obviously an old fashioned Born and Raised way, the LA look typography and font, definitely fire. As we move behind the tongue, it's gonna have their On the Turf logo, the Nike SB logo, actually no, it's gonna be the Born SB logo, I'm sorry. And the key details to this, if you lift up the flap, it's gonna have their saying, don't be a lame, so. That's definitely a, a cool little detail they added to this shoe. As we move on to the back of the sneaker, the heel tab is definitely fire. Got that same material, same vibe, the hologram logos. If you look at it in one perspective, it's gonna have that Nike SB logo. And if you look at it in a different way, it's gonna have the Born SB logo. Super fire. As we move on to the bottom of the heel, you're gonna notice the saying on the turf once again. Definitely fire, it has this 3D feel to it so it pops out the heel. And I, I've never personally seen that on a sneaker. Even inside the shoe, the sock liner is premium leather and off initial fit, it is kind of uncomfortable in my opinion. I believe after a while, after you break them in, after you skate them, that's what these are meant for. I'm not a skater, but I say after a while, I believe this is gonna break in very smooth, very nice. That's just my personal guess. I mean, as we move on to the soles, the insoles, it's got this Venice vibe. I believe it's the Venice Pavilion, if I'm not mistaken. Details on the insole, super fire. As we move on to the outsole, as this blue translucent look with the pink contrast in the middle, the pink contrast in Nike SB logo. And if you go to the forefoot, more towards the toe box, it's gonna have the Born SB logo. Super clean. It's definitely a fire detail, but I believe after a couple wears, it might fade out really quickly. I definitely will keep you guys updated on that because I will be wearing these a lot, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. And as we move on to the back of the shoe, it has this motif, this logo in classic Nike fashion. I believe this is the Wings of Goddess of Victory, I believe so. Not super fire embroidery right there. If I were to guess, one of the main reasons why this was postponed was for the unfortunate passing of Chris Printup, AKA Spanto. On the lace, it consists of a in loving memory message on each lace. So this is definitely a commemoration or something to remember Spanto for. Then if you want to be a real head turner, definitely rock the pink ones. The pink ones are super fire, has a rougher feel, a bandana print all over it, pink and blue contrast. This definitely will be turning heads. As we move on to the, the lace tip or the aglet, if you will, it's gonna have the Born and Raised logo, super clean. Down to the lace tip, man. The, the details are bar none. 
A finishal fit, I do say these are true to size. If you do wanna be safe, I say go half a size up maybe, if that's possible for you. Cause SBs normally fat tongue, obviously with this premium ankle sock liner, it might take up more space, but uh, I've been wearing them for the last couple hours. They feel good. And that's the Born and Raised Nike SB Dunk Low. Comment below what you guys think of the sneaker. Where you rank it? Is it the sneaker of the year? Let me know. Also guys, we are doing a giveaway on our Instagram. So make sure to follow us on Instagram. We're almost to a thousand followers. So go enter that. It's gonna be our pinned post at the Mag Park Global, at the Mag Park Topanga. Make sure to follow us, like, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching.